and your own personal fitness trainer. So, we all get in a pinch of time. But that doesn't mean we can't still have a good and effective workout. So that's what we're going to do today. Because, gosh, this week has been so hectic for me. And it happens to all of us. So, we're going to do a very effective 15-minute buttocks workout. So, go ahead and get your workout gear on. Because in a minute, we're going to get that started. So the first one's a squat kickback, and let me show you side view. You squat and you kick your leg back. Squat, kick your leg back with a flex foot. Okay, so here we go. Squat, kick. Catches like the underside part of your butt. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Come on, you can do it. Kick your leg back, there you go. Catching the underside part, a couple more. All right, now it's the uh, walk and roll. So I want your legs wide like this and you're gonna sit back and you're swiveling around with a straight back. But see how I'm, I'm leaning my torso forward as I'm sitting back. Catches the underside part of your butt. And of course, it works your quads too. Let me come this direction so you can see the back here. Now I'm going to rotate you to the left side. Sit back and lean forward. Rotate you to the other side. Catch us right over here. Okay, now we go again to the right. Just a few more this way. Okay, now switch directions. There you go. All right, rock and roll. Okay, side lunge, knee up. So here I am, a side lunge, up in the air. And I'm here, we're sticking on the one side. Sitting back on that leg. It's just the underside part of your butt. Of course, you're getting your quads. Okay, here we go, good. So on the right side here, sitting back. Those toes are forward. Last one. Okay, now switch sides. Now we're gonna go this direction. There, up, sit back. Sit back here. And obviously some of these are getting our heart rate up a bit just because we're moving along. do the suspended clam. So you're in this position, have your legs bent, and then you're going to take your feet and lift them up in the air. That's why it's called suspended. Okay, my hand's going to be here. You can prop your hand, and then I'm going to open. It's like a hinge, like a clam with the knee. Okay, so here we go. All right, going down, open it up. It's gonna work this part of your butt. Open it up. Even like a hinge. Think of like a like a clamshell, how they open it up. Okay, but those feet are up in the air. It makes it like a little harder. It's targeting this corner of our butt, okay? Going, okay. Now in a minute we're gonna be up and pump. Just like these little tiny pumps. Oh yeah, okay, I know that burns. There you go. Okay, close. Switch sides. Okay, so here we are on the other side. Down. Okay, get in that position first. Get those feet up in the air. Here we go. Hinge in it, like a little hinge. Keep it connected. There you go. Get in that part of your butt. I need to work the butt. It's neglected. Okay, come on now. Oh, it's getting me good there. Okay, in a second. Pumps. Little tiny pumps while you're up in the air. 
Oh, okay, there we are. Oh, okay, good deal. Now we're going to the pigeon peel. All right, you don't need this, but I need it for my head back here. So for this one, here, like a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Right. And my knees are together, so like a pigeon toe, you're turning them in. And then I'm gonna raise up for a few seconds, arms down. So look, squeeze your butt, raise up. One, two, three, touch down. Three seconds. Five more. Two, three. Twelve, two, three, one, fifteen. Thirteen, two, three, squeeze. Fifteen, two, three, last one. Ooh. Fifteen, two, three. Okay, good job. Last exercise is called the single leg peel. Go on one side, then the other. So, start with the right. It's going to work that one. You're going to point your foot, have it up in the air. You're going to push up again for a couple seconds. It's going to work this one. Here we go. Push high. One, two, three. Push your hips. Touch down. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Four, two, three. Five, two, three. Of course, it's going to get your quad. Six, two, three. Seven, two, three, eight, two, three, it's gonna be twelve. Nine, two, three, ten, two, three, really push your hips up. Eleven, two, three, twelve, two, three. Okay, switch sides. It's up in the air, go. One, two, three, two, two, three, two, three. here on the outside. Pull your hands in. Pull it. Pull it in. Okay, switch sides again. Oh yeah, pull that in. Oh, good job. And I have one more stretch. One more stretch to show you. Okay, so here you are. Good job on the butt workout. So, I want you to like tuck your one leg here and have the other leg straight. And then you're going to lean in. Lean on your knee. Oh, and you'll get the outside right here. Just hold it down here like that. Oh, get there on the outside of the butt. Okay, switch legs. This one, tuck this leg in here. That leg straight back. Oh, lean down, lean back. Oh, that feels good though. Oh, doing that foot. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Stretch that. Your butt cheek out. There you go. All right. Good job. Ah, so see, that was a quick workout in a pinch of time, but I bet your butt is burning. And I know mine is. So good job. And um, hey, I do want to say thank you so much to my subscribers. And I don't want to tell you, I really do appreciate it. I hope you're liking my YouTube videos. I'm working at it really hard. So uh, if you like it, like it, or share it with somebody. And uh, if there's a new subscriber out there and you uh, came across my channel, I'd love to have you join us. It's free on YouTube. So, 
Anyway, I have some good quotes for you. Good job. Okay, so I have my coaching here. And this quote is by Thomas Jefferson. I love when there's quotes by those historical people. And here's what he said. Uh, he, and this is in regard to attitude. He said, nothing can stop man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goal. And nothing on earth can help the man with the wrong mental attitude. Hmm. Since our attitude means a lot. And Walter Scott, Scott, here's what he said. He said, for success, attitude is equally as important as ability. Hmm. So it does. It says a lot about your attitude in life. Hmm. So I'm going to think about that. I'm sure you are too. Because oh, we all could use an attitude adjustment sometimes. So until next time. I'll see ya and ta-ta!